One challenging area of testing is low-level devices, such as the Adreno, whose primary action is setting lines to high or low voltage. One project that seems to be doing a good job of filling this gap is Adreno CI. We'll look more in depth at this. In this video, we're going to provide a sample Adreno program and automated tests using Adreno CI. One of the initial Adreno tutorials is Blink. Going to the Adreno, Examples, Basic, Blink. We see here a program that turns the light on and off for one second. On and one second off. This is a nice, simple program that demos getting started with the Adreno, but doesn't require any external devices, so can be written in just a few lines of code and gets us going. With this, and with a device attached, I can say Upload. It compiles the sketch, and we should see the lights blink, showing Transmit and Receive, and now we have the light blinking. We can return it to the unblinking state by running the bare minimum, this puts in something that doesn't turn the light on and off. So a good way to reset the program to see if we're actually making any changes. This Adreno sketch is a program written in the Adreno IDE. It's based on C or C++, but it has a different extension. I can take this program and save it in my local documents as Blink. When I take a look at it, there's Blink and there's Blink.ino. So Sketch has two public functions. One is Setup and the other is Loop. The Setup runs once when you press Reset or Power on the board. The Loop function runs over and over again forever. Some of the confusion, for me at least, on how to test a sketch is that technically it's not a C++ code, and so it's not as amenable to running the usual standard automated tests. But the Adreno does allow C++ code to be referenced by a sketch, and such is called a library. Adreno documentation describes a library as a software extension that expands the functionality of a program, for example, by giving it access to new external devices. But in fact, there isn't any reason you can't write essentially your entire program in C or C++ and then simply call it from a sketch. So we have our initial sketch set up here, but we could replace this or edit it in a few ways. So let's include blink.h and then create a blink object. So this instantiates an object. And then in our setup method, instead of doing something directly with the board, we could call blink setup. And then in the loop method, instead of again interacting directly with the board, we could call blink loop. Having done that, we now have a very simple sketch with essentially two lines of code in it, and the rest of our application will be in C++ files. So where is our example of that? Well, we can go to GitHub and get the Blink application. We can download it as a zip file. 
take the zip file, open it up, then we can go to our Adreno directory and into libraries we could go and copy in the library and we'll change it from Blink Master to just simply Blink. Now let's try compiling our program again. The sketch is finding the library directory and is using the blink object and let's watch and see right now we have two steady lights and let's try watching the transmit receive when we upload the file. So we get a transmit receive and now the light is blinking. So what are these files and what are they doing? Let's go back and open up the library. We have our blink.h and that is including the adreno.h file and defining a class blink with setup and loop. So this is very trivial. Then our blink cpp file. Again, include and blink. Our setup method has the code that previously was in the sketch setup method to set the pin to output. And then our loop, likewise, is calling the loop method to output things here. So we now have our application in C and C++ classes. Now let's think about testing. With the Adreno, we have an opportunity to use Adreno CI. This is a Ruby gem that provides a cross-platform build test system. It includes a series of C++ mocks that mock up the Adreno board. It enables tests to be run locally or as part of a CI service like Travis or AppVair. Any OS that can run the Adreno IDE can run this. But again, it works on C, C++, and so we'll work with a library, but not with directly with the sketch itself. This is the Ruby gem, but you don't need to download and install this package from GitHub. Instead, you simply set up certain things like a gem file that says, I want to use the Adreno CI. Then you can open up a terminal. I'm going to install the gem bundle install and I'm going to put the path to the vendor bundle and it will resolve, fetch, and create various things. So now we have our gem and gem file. Finally, we would like to test it. I'm going to disconnect the board. Then I'll try running the tests. Okay. We ran through our test. We had 13 asserts and zero failures. A typical library will have an examples directory. So we have our examples, which is essentially just the blink that we created here, a readme that describes it. The thing that's been added is a test file. This test file has a series of tests that say we're going to reset the pins and then after we run setup there should be a certain state of things 
after we run the loop, there should be a certain state of things. And the value of the pin should start out at zero, be changed to one, return to zero. And for timings, the first two should happen during the, fir during the first microsecond that the application is running. Then there ought to be a one second pause. And then at the end, we ought to have waited two seconds. So this shows us we're setting the pin high, then low, with a one second pause between each, which is essentially demonstrating that our code is doing what we expect, but we're running it here entirely locally, not on the board. So the board could be disconnected and these tests would still pass. So this demonstrates we can run automated tests on code intended for an Adreno, but we don't need to have the Adreno present for it.